And howdy folks, a little special video here for Game of Thrones. I don't normally cover Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm a fan though, I watch it, just like I think almost everybody else. <laughs> so I thought I would just do a little bit of a video here because we're coming up on such a momentous episode. Uh, by the way, spoilers in the rest of this video up through Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 2. So uh, if you haven't seen Episode 2, then uh, don't watch the rest of this because I'm going to be spoiling the heck out of it. Um, I thought I'd come in with some predictions uh, for what might happen in the next episode. We have the uh, Battle of Winterfell coming up, so I figured, you know, now would be a good time to, to speak up about this and maybe throw some predictions on the record uh, so that I can look back and say, man, I was horrible at predicting things. <laughs> or maybe I actually got some of them right. I don't know. Uh, I've been loving the season so far. Um, I haven't been reacting to it. Uh, I'm not really set up for couch reactions um, and I gotta watch Game of Thrones on the couch on the big screen, and I'm not really, you know, I, I do my reactions through a webcam as opposed to, a, you know, a regular video camera and that sort of thing, like a lot of people do when they do the couch reactions. I, I'm not really set up for that, so it's not easy for me to do. I might figure out a way to do it, uh, but uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> um, like I said, been loving the season so far. Uh, I know the purists are a bit upset about how quickly things happen, like Theon getting to Winterfell and that sort of stuff, but I don't care. I love it. I love quick-paced stories, but... You know, there have been a couple of slow bits, but uh, I understand what the structure they're trying to go for here. I've been enjoying pretty much every scene. In fact, I have been enjoying every scene. I don't think there's a single scene I haven't enjoyed. Um, I do agree with some people that they may have spent a little bit too much time on the dragon flying in the first episode, but oh well. I mean, no use crying over spilled milk. We're not going to get that timer budget back since the entire thing's been filmed already, right? Um, let's see. Since I never did talk about Game of Thrones before... I thought I'd point out a couple of my favorite characters uh, for people who are interested in that sort of thing, if you want to know where I'm coming from on this. My favorite major character is Arya Stark. Uh, probably my second favorite would be the Hound. Uh, my favorite minor character is Jorah Mormont. Uh, and right behind him is his cousin, Lady, Lady Lyanna Mormont. So uh, I'm apparently a Mormont and Stark, well, with the exception of the Hound, Stark Mormont person. <laughs> um, I did... Love Arya's scenes with Gendry. Uh, even the sex scene, yes, it was in the back of my mind that uh, you know we saw her grow up on the show from a a, 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 a girl uh, into a young woman. But uh, you know, then everybody who was an adult uh, was once a child, right? So <laughs> it, it didn't bother me too much. Um, I love the scene between Jorah and his cousin, Lady Mormont, in the second episode. It was very brief. I noticed that a lot of reactors kind of just skip right over it. Um, it must not have been a favorite with a lot of people, but. I mean, as a uh, there being my two favorite minor characters, that was that was like gold for me. That was just that was that was my fan service. I just love that scene. I just loved the interaction the two of them have. Just great stuff, great stuff. All right. Anyway, on with the predictions. That's what this video was supposed to be all about. So, I'm gonna run down almost all the characters that are credited in uh, the previous episode, episode eight two, uh, season eight, episode two. And let you know whether I think they're going to live or die in the coming battle. So, starting at the top, uh, and this is just the kind of, there's no real order here. All right, starting with Tyrion Lannister. I think he's going to live. Um, I think he has to be there for the end. He needs to find some kind of redemption for his cleverness, of his cleverness. Uh, and I think he just needs to be there at the end. Just something tells me. At least one of the Lannisters other than Cersei needs to be there. And speaking of that, Jaime Lannister, I sadly think he's going to die. Um, I think we're setting up for him to die, saving Brienne. Now, I know there's a prophecy uh, about the younger brother killing Cersei, and some might think it would be Tyrion. I don't think it is. Uh, I heard this theory. The first time I heard this theory, this particular theory, uh, was in our podcast over at tuning into sci-fi tv.com. Uh, we have a Game of Thrones reaction podcast. I don't, I'm not participating in it, but I am editing it. And one of our, our folks, I think it was Shannon. Uh, said that he believes that Arya is going to take Jamie's face when he dies and end up killing Cersei wearing Jamie's face, thus completing the uh, the whole death prophecy thing. And I like that theory. So I think Jamie's going to die in the next episode. I think Arya will eventually. Uh, we may not see her do it, but she Jamie may appear at some point. We'll figure it out. Uh, she may take his face. And Jamie dying maybe involved in saving Brienne in some situation. Maybe she's being overwhelmed and he comes in and, and uh, it, you know, together they defeat whatever the immediate threat is, but Jamie ends up being mortally wounded or something and dies in her arms. 
something like that. Anyway, I just think he dies. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, don't hold me to the predictions of how people die. <laughs> uh, just whether or not they die or live. Uh, Brienne, I think is going to live. I think she's, she's, uh, she's going to live through this. I uh, just, I just get the feeling she'll live through it. Um, not much else to say about that. I think, I think, like I said, I, I kind of want to see that scene of Jamie dying in her arms sort of thing. Uh, Daenerys and John, um, they live. I, I don't think either one of them is going to die in this, so we'll just gloss right over that. So I, I think they've got a lot of plot armor. I don't think they're going anywhere. Uh, Sansa, I think she lives. I don't think uh, she's going to be directly in the battle anyway, but I, I'm pretty sure she's going to live. Uh, she needs to continue on as uh, a Lady of Winterfell, I think. Some might argue that Arya could be that, but I, I, I just I just don't get a feeling that Sansa's going to die. Uh, I We need the, the angst uh, of... Theon dying because I think Theon Greyjoy is going to die, uh, and uh, they're so they're kind of close right now. You saw that bonding moment. That to me just telegraphs that that Theon is 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 done. I, I think he's going to die. Um, anyway, uh, Davos, so Davos. Um, I think he's going to live. <laughs> you just you have to keep the joke running about how he keeps surviving these intense battles with absolutely no skill in in combat. Uh, so I think Davos is going to live. Uh, Grey Worm and Missande. Um, I think Missande is going to live. I think Grey Worm's going to die. Uh, just they're just it, it's just so too poignant, too angsty to to pass up the the whole scene they had together uh, about how he's going to take her back home uh, and protect her and so forth. It's just uh, he's going to die, and and he's right in the thick of it. So. Uh, while he'll take out a lot of, of walkers, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna die. Gendry, I think Gendry is gonna live, and I, 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 that's wishful thinking on my part because I like Arya so much, um, and I want him and Arya to be together. Um, but you know, he may die, but I, I, I'm gonna guess he lives. So that'll be my prediction. Bran has got to live. We need the three-eyed raven. We, they haven't don't have enough time to set up him passing that on to somebody else. If Three Eyed Raven is killed, then you know we lose. So Bran is going to live. Samwell and Gilly and their son. Um, I think they all live. I think Samwell lives. I think he's going to become Lord Tarly. Uh, Gilly lives. She needs to become the new lady, <laughs> Lady Tarly. Uh, so I think they're they're going to live. I mean, it might be. There might be uh, some real drama there, but it, ultimately, I think they're going to live. Lord Varys. Um, I think Varys is going to die. Remember that uh, Melisandre said that uh, you know he would die and she would die uh, in this land in the end? I think that time is now for Varys. I think he's going to die. Um, the Hound is going to live. Of course, the Hound has to fight his brother. So we, we, we cannot have been promised that match and not get it. So... The Hound will pull through. I mean, the Hound is just a survivor, you know? Tormund, Giant's Bane. <laughs> uh, so Tormund, um, I think he's going to live. I, I know he joked about dying and everybody dying, but um, I think he's going to live. He's just he's just, he's too strong. He's, come on, Giant's Milk. Uh, Jorah and Lyanna Mormont, uh, the cousins. Um, I don't want Jorah to die. I really don't. But I think it's just too good of a story material, too good of character development for, um, for everybody, for uh, Danny, for um, um, everybody involved. I, I think he's going to die. I really don't want him to. He's my favorite secondary character. Um, but I do think he dies. And I'm hoping um, that he dies somehow, maybe saving his cousin, um, uh, Lady Lyanna. Um, I think she's going to live. Please let her live. I don't want both of my Mormonts to die. Um, but I think Jor Jorah might die maybe saving her, I'm hoping. But again, don't hold me to the predictions of how people die or live. I just I just kind of want that. Um, Beric Dondarrion, I think he dies. I think it's it's time, sadly. I mean, I can't see him going on and doing much more after this. He's kind of alive for a purpose, and I think the purpose is here. You know, he keeps talking about uh, the God of, I think it was the God of Light. Is that his God? Anyway, I can't remember now. But uh, I think his purpose is this. All right, only a couple more characters here. We've got um, Tullet, Edison Tullet, uh, the Night's Watch guy, uh, John's friend. 
I think he's going to die. Um, we won't really need a Night's Watch any longer, right? Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, he has no lands or titles, right? So I think it'll add to John's angst that his friend dies. So I think he's going to die. And finally, we've got Pod, Podrick Payne. Um, it could go either way. It honestly could. I could see it going either way. But I'm going to vote for Lives just because Pod is so cool. <laughs> um, I think he's going to live. Um, yeah. So there's my predictions, guys. Uh, the deaths, I think, are coming are Jamie. Uh, re to review here, Theon, Grey Worm, uh, Varys, that's that's kind of a, a, I'm going on a limb on that one. He may not even be ap appearing in the video, or in the, in the video, in the episode. Um, so Varys, uh, Jorah, oh, it pains me to say that, uh, Dondarrion, Beric Dondarrion, and Edison Tullet. Uh, those are my predictions for death. So we'll see you next episode. Uh, I'll do a follow-up video on this, maybe afterwards, talking about... Uh, uh, a little bit more about uh, the Game of Thrones episode. Um, maybe. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, maybe I'll try to figure out a way to do some sort of reaction to it. Since it's such an, a momentous episode, I might want to figure out a way to do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my predictions and what your predictions are. Do you have any predictions about uh, lives or dies? And You better get those comments in before Sunday, because if you post them after Sunday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call foul on that one. Uh, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.